we'll see Mexico taking on Germany. And Angela Ruiz and Michelle Croppen. Time for semi-final number one in the recurve women's individual competition here in Medellin, Colombia at the third stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup. And we've got two 20-year-olds in the lineup. It's time to meet them. On target number one, representing the Republic of Korea. In the Paca Numero Uno, representando República de Korea. In Chiho. On target number two, representing the United States of America. In the Paca Numero Uno, representando. Estados Unidos de América. Jennifer Musino Fernandez. The line judge for this matchup is La Juez del Partido, Fatima Abuyarrade. Well, there's a number of themes running through this one. Breakthrough athletes, both of them. Lim Xiong competing at just her second stage of Honda Archery World Cup, winning the first in Shanghai. In stage two, when Korea started their international tour, going up against Jennifer Messino Fernandez to give her her full name. She's been to the Olympic Games at 20 years old, has the mixed team gold medal here already. So it's a tiny bit of a grudge match because she was up against Lim Sion in that mixed team gold medal match. Semi final here, though, as the Korean will get the match underway. Yeah, and her inexperience is uh, showing a bit where she was waiting to step onto the line. Uh, you can just step onto the line as soon as the uh, light turns green for the other archer. So she's kind of given herself very little time for this shot now. Nine. But manages to fix it. How much benefit do these two have, given the fact that they've shot out here already today? Uh, That's a very good question. I think the circumstances have uh, changed a bit since this morning. So um, they have felt the atmosphere. They have felt what it's like with the with the light and with, with the just the, the circumstances on the field, but not necessarily the wind, because you can see that the wind circumstances have changed quite a bit. Twenty-seven set by Lim. So Chino could get off to a good start here with a 10. Seven. Seven. I think that is very much oh, a curse of commentator. She's flown that one right one out on the side. And the set points for four go to Lim Xiong. Did you say anything particularly wrong with that one? Um, not necessarily. Uh, there is a bit more wind. You can notice that there's more wind just by looking at their hair wavering and, and the trees in the background are uh, kind of clustering around. So it, it, I think it's just uh, that there's more wind out now on the field and um, not even necessarily on the shooting line, but just it's going to do some stuff to their aero flight. Lim qualified first here, top of the order after the ranking round, 11 points higher than her opponent, 6.84 for Lim, a 6.73 for Machino. Does it really make a difference when you get to match play? Um, not necessarily. I, I, I feel like when you get to this point, um, everything starts at zero, like you you need to just give it what you've got um, and not dwell too much on how much experience one or the other has. Start of the second set of the American. It's 2-0 down. Yep. Ten. Gets <laughs> the first 10 of the match. <laughs> Pretty enjoyable technique by uh, Lim Sejong to uh, to watch it's uh, just very stable uh, barely any movement and um, gets into anchor very close to the Nine. point or the tip Move of her arrow so it's uh, just very simple and, and 
Well, nice. It's just nice to see. Definitely a bit more wind out there. Just holding on a little bit longer, especially Machino at full draw. Yeah, you can see the movement in the... Well, this shot is not too bad, but you can see that the stabilizer is going back and forth a little bit. Um, and a really good group there by Jennifer, but just two arrows that have barely missed it him. Clue that she knew that was good, wasn't that? Yeah, her coach knew that that was good at least. Yeah, as soon as he released or she released, uh, he already uh, kind of indicated like that was a good one. Well, a step up as well from Machino with a 28. Yeah, and a good look at those arrows that are very close to the tendering, but yeah, are not quite tense. So even though she's 4-0 four, four behind, um, I think it's it's safe to say that she has found the middle. She just needs to keep doing what she's doing, and uh, maybe next end she'll be a bit more lucky with uh, if the arrows land into the 10 rather than just next to it. But we've talked about the Koreans before. Once they get into the lead, it's very difficult to wrestle it off them, and that they tend to get better and better throughout the match. And that's certainly the case with Lim. I'm well, we're only seeing her for the second time, but she's got a 100% record in the individual competition at the Highland Archery World Cups. Yeah, the first time we saw her lose anything was the uh, mixed team round earlier today, which was uh, uh, actually against uh, Jennifer Machino. So it, uh, um, it is possible. Well, the fight back begin here in set number three. No. It's been called a nine, but I'm pretty sure it's an eight. Yep, there uh, Chino needs to win this set because needs to get herself on the scoreboard target of six points for the win but the eight slash nine for Lim go, has opened the door no. still drifting off to the left that's a that's a nine though yeah th that is a nine and uh, her coach gave her the uh, information that she was hitting on the left mm. it's gonna help her for the next set maybe but in this set uh, Jennifer has clinched it so there's nothing that Lim can do here So a 26 or a 27 is not going to be enough. Uh, I think uh, Chino got a 29 there, even though that last arrow was called a 9. Clipped into the 10. Yeah, I think so as well. And um, it's, it's, you said it's, it's difficult to get back in a match against a uh, Korean archer, but it's not impossible. And we've seen it happen before. It's happening right here for uh, Jennifer Machino Fernandez to give her a full name. She's got herself on the scoreboard, and that will give her some confidence. Yeah, I think the shot looked pretty good. Uh, she just looked over her shoulder and, and uh, looked at her coach, and I think her coach told her, like, okay, it's on the left. Um, it's probably on the left for this or this reason. Uh, so do with that what you want to do. Yeah, you look at the feather flags on the left-hand side down the end of the range. They're fluttering around a lot more than on the shooting line. We've talked about this before. There's the barriers here on the shooting line, and that the wind's not hitting them quite as much, is it? No, they're kind of sheltered with uh, the stands on the right side and the uh, banners on the left. So the wind might just go over their heads. Um, but the arrows elevate, so they have like a parabole shape flight, um, which means that they will catch a bit more wind than the, the archers and their bows. Well, the comeback started in set number three. Needs to continue in set number four for Jennifer Messino, but that looks eight. like it's gone oh, into no. the eight. Yeah, and pretty much the same spot that Lim's eight was at. Here 
So maybe there's a bit of a drift from left to or from right to left because suddenly we're seeing a lot more left arrows. Bit of a correction there, but um, I'm sure that she was trying to aim off to the right. Uh, the wind maybe blew her bow side to the middle, and then she pulled it back to the right because she needed to aim off to get the arrow in the middle. An arrow for the win in four sets. For Lim Sion. She's put it into the eight for the 26 as well. Well, they share the points in this set, but uh, look, you, you talk about the, the drift from right to left. It looks to me like the wind has really died off on the shooting line. We saw the, the hair blowing around a little bit earlier on. It's not so much now, but it still seems to be blustery down the end. Yeah, I think it's it's kind of deceiving where you're standing on the line and you're shooting and you don't feel the wind anymore. Um, it's difficult to judge by the wind socks because they're kind of sheltered as well. Um, so you need to go by maybe the trees or the sound of the wind um, and it's a subjective thing right you cannot really put up a wind meter and say oh it's three meters per second so i have to aim x amount off um, because there's way more um, factors that decide how much the arrow will be affected by it so there's a lot that needs to a lot you need to take into account before knowing where to aim off say the changing conditions you look at those feather flags down on the end on the left hand side there they're not moving at all now so they're having to adjust almost with every shot it does mean that we're in a situation now where if Jennifer uh, wins this set we get to see a shoot off um, but she will have to win this set because if Lim manages to tie whatever Jennifer shoots here um, she walks away with the win. Yep. Yeah. Yes. I heard the coach there just like that. That is exactly right because you want to put down high scores to put your opponent under pressure. Just looking at her target, uh, Lim, that is. She has only shot low arrows so far, um, and mostly on the left. So her group is quite good. Um, if only she moved her sight just a little bit. Get a good look at that clicker, and how close she gets to the point of the clicker when she is at the draw. So this match rests on this arrow. Camacino falls the shoot off at 28. It was a bit of a longer hold. Uh, Lim needs a nine to win. She did in the last end as well. Last end she shot an eight. No chance of that here though. A 10 for her and a 29 out of a possible 30 for a 7-3 victory in the first semi-final. Lim si Yun of Korea is through to the gold medal match in her second Hyundai Archery World Cup stage. She took gold in Shanghai. She's in with a shout for gold here in Medellin. We'll see Jennifer Machino just a little bit later on for the bronze medal match. And she started to show some of the form that's brought her through to the final four. And she needs to bring it back for the bronze medal match. But meanwhile, Lim Sion goes on for a second consecutive gold medal match.